Good morning and welcome to Paul T's World. And in this video we're going to have a look at leaf mould, what to do with these gorgeous leaves that fall in autumn. In this video I'm going to show you exactly how I make leaf mould. It's so easy. I use three different containers and one of them will suit you. I've got links in the description below for all these containers. Beautiful leaf mould can be made from deciduous leaves. It takes just a year or if you chop them finely, six months. I collected up leaves from this area here round the hedge and simply put them in this garden waste bag to see what would happen. It has been open to the rain and some rain has of course dampened the leaves. And so let's have a look at exactly what the leaf mould looks like when I have done absolutely nothing. This is the first time I've had a look in a year. Let's see how deep the leaf mould goes. I'm expecting some dry leaves around, but in fact, it looks like I've actually got half a bag of leaf mould here. And it's not looking bad, is it? Hey, that's not bad. It's the fungi that has created the leaf mould, not worms. So there we can see that leaf mould can be made simply by putting leaves in a bag and left outside. This is one of my favourite containers actually. I have two sizes of these. This is the larger one. And I use it for, well, leaf mould and also for putting hedge clippings in that I want to take down to the tip because it's nice and clean to put in the car. This is the bin I use for my leaf mould. Now you will notice that I do not have a base to this compost bin. You don't need a base. Every now and then I will put a bucket of water in with the leaf mould and maybe give it a stir so you don't end up with dried leaves round the edges. Obviously there's twigs here, but generally it's perfect leaf mould. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous leaf mould? As I say, I absolutely crammed this compost bin with leaves because it rots down from here right down to here. I simply now transfer the leaf mould from this open bin to a container I've got here so it's ready for use when I want. So now it's time to put in the new leaves. If you are going to use a container that has an open bottom to it, you may find that if there are trees nearby, roots will grow and use the leaf mould. Trees love leaf mould. So what I've done here is I've put a membrane down, you know, a garden membrane. There we are. So I've just put that down first to discourage the roots from coming up. It's been a late autumn this year. It's been really mild with southerly winds coming up from Africa. So some of the leaves haven't even fallen off the trees yet. And it's mid-November. The apple tree still has green leaves, but the leaves from apple trees are not good for composting. The apple tree leaves will compost, but it takes a lot longer. So the best leaves for composting are in fact beech leaves, hornbeam, and various other deciduous trees, broad-leafed deciduous trees. As you've seen, the amount of leaf mould I got was about there. And I absolutely packed this bin right up to here on a number of occasions as it was going down. Now you can actually use a one ton builder's bag and just leave the leaves in here over winter. Leave it open to the rain and throw some water over it every now and again. You've got to make sure 
that the leaves are wet or damp. Dry leaves won't rot down. I'll need a lot more water than that to make all that damp. It's open at the bottom so the water can escape. You don't want stagnant water sitting at the bottom of a container. If you would like some leaf mould that is perfect for seeds or cuttings, then just sieve it. Now I don't bother because generally I mix this leaf mould with my own compost or bought compost and use it for when I'm planting my shrubs. Now just look at this. Just look how beautiful that is. Perfect leaf mould for all sorts of things. Worms absolutely love leaf mould. They also love leaves. If there are leaves on your lawn or in your beds, the, the worms will actually drag them down into the soil and, and eat the leaves and the leaf mould. And what they produce is called vermicompost and that is nutrient rich and perfect for your plants. Now I know some people do actually want to produce their leaf mould as quickly as possible, maybe three months, maybe six months. And the way to do that I want to encourage you to make leaf mould. Enjoy the leaves that fall on your garden. A nice mild day in autumn. Collect the leaves up and put them into any type of container. And I hope you've enjoyed this video on this gorgeous November's day in England. And I'll see you next time in Paul T's world. Bye.